So I'm trying to fix this camcorder viewfinder and I can't get it to draw the vertical. And then I looked at it on thermal and I found out that this section was glowing very brightly. Actually, this little resistor right here was getting to over 180 degrees Celsius. So that is obviously something wrong with it. Now this is the resistor that was going and it links down here to this capacitor, which I've marked with red, just barely. And that capacitor gets quite warm also. So I'm thinking that capacitor is gone. So let's desolder it. So it's a 10 volt, 100 microfarad or picofarad or whatever that is. I think it's microfarad. So it's 100 microfarad, 10 volt capacitor. Well, let's see what happens if we run it without that. If it blows up, then it'll be interesting. <gasps> it works! Oh my god! Look at that! Looks like it's upside down. Oh right, I adjusted the brightness. Yep, that works. Sweet. So, we should look into finding another capacitor to replace that. Well, gotta go through the buckets. I've just been cleaning up and I've been throwing a bunch of stuff in here so these are not organized at all. Ha! As if they ever were. Who am I kidding? Well, it looks like I found the exact same part. Except for this one is 16 volts, so it's even more forgiving. This is kind of interesting. It's actually a Rico chip. I got this from an old um, copier, I think, or a fax machine or something like that. It's one of those big ones from the 1980s that just had so many circuit boards in it. It was so huge. Oh, whoops. Looks like I crushed it. But it still works, so, eh, whatever. There we go. Good as new-ish. It actually has 101 microfarads, so that's cool. Now just a matter of getting it on the circuit board. You know what, that's good enough. I'm happy with that. I mean, it's pretty late and, and I was not expecting to actually do this tonight, so yeah, good enough. It's kind of funny how it'll just start off with a little bit of tinkering where you're just taking something apart just to look inside of it and then it turns into making a whole video at night. <laughs> there we go. That works. Awesome! I'm so happy. And thankfully this is a really nice one because some of the other camcorder viewfinders they actually they pivot and so then they actually the entire tube pivots in there which means that the wires are forced to to move very often whereas in this one this is just a stationary one it actually mounts on the top of the camcorder like this and has well it's supposed to have something that'll go up and down for that but oh well so this one should be more reliable because it's not having to flex the connections all the time. Perfect. Now I might just fix the mount for this, since that's all missing. And we'll just tape it on there. Actually, yeah, that would work. But now I have the viewfinder for this camcorder. I've never had that before, so it's cool. Maybe in the future I can actually rebuild the battery to be lithium-ion 
instead of the old nickel cadmium, which is beyond dead. And then we can actually have a nice little camcorder, an old NTSC camcorder to play around with, because I kind of feel like recording with VHS again, and I think this would be a nice nice little camcorder to use, because my full-size VHS camcorders need some work, and I don't know for, sh for sure if I want to have to get those to work again, because a lot of those bigger camcorders actually use little belts and stuff inside them, and those belts have fully deteriorated over the years. This one is a VHS-C camera. From about 1987 or so, too, so that's cool. It originally cost $616.25. Oh my god. CPR 100 Small Wonder Camcorder. Oh, okay, then I guess it is 1987. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little repair video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya!